Hi everyone, as always, hope you are staying safe and healthy at home. In today's video, I'll be doing a flip through of my Tokyo travel journal. If you remember, I went to Tokyo at the beginning of last August with my sister to watch SM Town 2019. I bought this journal while we were at Disneyland and I wanted to use it as a travel journal for the trip, but I never ended up finishing it until this week thanks to some inspiration from Skillshare, who is the sponsor of this video. Skillshare is an online learning community offering thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. So whether you're a beginner or a pro in a certain topic, there are classes that you can fit into your own schedule and skill level. Especially during this period of social distancing, Skillshare classes are a great way to stay busy while continuing to learn. I checked out the productivity section this week and found a class called Focus to Flourish, Productivity Skills for the Creative by Bonnie Christine. She goes through a lot of tips on how to stay focused and deal with procrastination. I've had a lot of things I wanted to do that I've just put off due to procrastination, including this Tokyo travel journal, and her class reminded me on the concepts of power blocks or working for a set amount of time without any distractions. So I started using my forest app again to keep me focused. Bonnie Christine also suggests working when your willpower is at the highest in order to maximize your productivity. And I found that I enjoy journaling the most when I had natural light. So since I've been working from home recently, I've been able to take advantage of some of my mornings to write a few pages. Therefore, it took me less than a week to go through and finish my Tokyo travel journal. If you are interested in exploring creativity and productivity as part of your self-care routine during this time, Skillshare is a great place to help you get started. Membership is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, and that gives you unlimited access to thousands of classes on the platform. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a two-month free trial of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity too. To quickly recap my Tokyo trip, we spent two days at the Disney Resort before moving to our hotel from our SM Global package. We then spent an afternoon in Harajuku and then dinner and more shopping in Shibuya. And the last day of the trip was SM Town in Tokyo, which we watched at Tokyo Dome before heading to the airport to fly home.
Now to reflect on my process of completing a travel journal, I usually collect tickets, brochures, receipts, and other items during the trip. If I remember to bring some tape with me, I usually try to start pasting some of the items into the journal while I'm on the trip. For example, organizing some of the items at night before bed at the hotel, or when you're waiting for your travel companion to shower or get ready in the morning. For this trip, I did anticipate some procrastination since August was a super busy month for me. So while in Tokyo, I wrote down a list of all of the places that we went to in the notes app on my iPhone. This list was super helpful for me when writing the journal this week since it was over seven months after we took the trip. In terms of timing, it was actually really fun to complete the journal this week. Since traveling is pretty much impossible now, Recounting the places that I went to in Tokyo kind of took me back and helped me almost relive them, like virtual traveling. Therefore, I am planning on writing travel journals for a few other trips I took throughout 2018 and 2019 too. If you have any projects from the past few years that you've never gotten around to completing, I think now is a great time to restart them as long as you can do them at home. For ways on how to maximize your productivity, I would definitely recommend some Skillshare classes such as the one that I watched, which I will link down in the description as well. I hope everyone is staying busy at home and can find new ways to spend your time and reach your goals. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!